In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how we are managing our business finance and how we also collaborate or like cooperate that with our personal finance. That's amazing, right? Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present where we talk about business, finance, and life-related matters. If you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the no notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. Now, this is one of the questions that we got in one of the webinars that we did in collaboration with New Bold University. And if you want to join that event as well, I'm going to talk about wealth creation. And there will be other speakers, like 20 plus speakers. It's going to happen in January 2021. The registration link is in the description below, right? And this is one of the events that I attended way back 2020, like January 2020, that, but that was a live event. So this time it's going to be a virtual conference because of the pandemic. We also have to adjust with the pandemic, okay? Now, um, so it's one of the questions that we got uh, in terms of like business and then personal finance. Because if you're a newbie, if you're a starter, if you're just relatively new in the business world, right? You're starting this venture out. Most probably what you're thinking is that the money that you have in your business is your own money. I repeat. The money that you have in your business, you are thinking that it is also your money, right? Now, while that is true, especially if you are operating in a sole proprietor business, but it's not really a healthy mindset in terms of running it for the long term, okay? Because you always have to think that your business expense is different from your personal expense. Your business income is different from your personal income. Now, this is coming from our own perspective as well and our own experience. We're not talking about this just because we think that it's good. We are saying this coming from our own experience. We currently have two businesses. The first one is this, the present, which is into consultancy, business, finance, and life-related related stuff. And the second one is a digital marketing agency in collaboration with four of my partners, which is, co it's, which is a corporation. So one is a sole proprietorship and one is a corporation, right? From these two businesses, we are separating our personal finance and our business finance. That means the money that we are using for our groceries, for our utilities, for our whatever, like pets or entertainment, personal ent entertainment, it's not coming from our businesses. So, how do we do it? Here we go. There are two ways that we are earning money from our personal finance using the business that we have. All right? The first one is we are getting a specific allowance from each of our businesses on a monthly basis. I repeat, we are getting an allowance on a monthly basis from each of our businesses. For example, here we may be getting around five digits and here we are also getting around five digits a month and that's the income that we have for our personal needs, right? So whatever it is that we need for our personal use, you know, like whatever it is that we're gonna, like groceries and stuff, then that's the amount that we have to work around, okay? It's not saying that, okay, we can just spend whatever it is that we wanna spend and let the business handle it. No, that's not how it is. Because if that's going to be the mindset, you will end up having a nightmare in terms of managing your finances and you will think that you have a lot of money, but that's not actually true. Because you have to think once again that the money of your business should be allocated for its own expenses, not your kids' expenses, your house, your whatever, right? Because it's your business, not you. The second thing is, obviously you may think that, hey Jan, but it's quite tiring, you know? Like, that's the reason why I left my employment years because I wanna earn more money. But if you're saying that we're gonna get an allowance, so it's like saying that we are employees of our own business. The answer to that is yes. That is what I'm saying. It's like that. You are the CEO, you are the CEO, you are the CFO, you whatsoever C level that you're in. But the point is, if you become the business owner, you also have to think that as if you are working for your business, even if it is your business. And eventually, when the business grows, then that's the time that you can also pass your load, your workload to other people. And then you will just think about the vision, what's going to happen to the business, where the business is going, and things like that, right? So it's like saying that you are paying yourself as the CEO of your business, even if it is your own business, right? A certain amount on a monthly basis, 
and then you will have to find a way to handle all those money in your personal finance and then find a way for your business to grow because at the end of the day guys if your business will grow you will also grow right because it's your business okay so the second thing that we do is incentives quarterly incentives right so for example we get a certain percentage from the profit made in a certain quarter in this case for example January to March if we made a profit for that certain quarter we get a certain percentage and distribute it to all the shareholders so it's like somehow a dividends kind of a thing if you're referring to the stock market but that's how we do it now why is it that we have set up a quarterly incentive instead of setting a huge monthly allowance um, like yeah huge monthly allowance the reason is you always if you have if you have a business as much as possible keep your expenses low right and make your income big okay so if your income is big and then your expenses is low then you have more profit okay so if you can forecast forecast that you have a certain amount on a monthly basis for your own salary and then you still have profit that means you are performing well as the owner of the business then you get an incentive through the profits made so that's like the profit sharing so in that case you won't really think that you're working for your business only and you think that you're just an employee you are still reaping the benefits but you have to work it out first does it make sense so that's what we do you know like everybody like to be honest with you guys i've met with different entrepreneurs they have their own way of doing it there are some people that whatever it is their personal finance it is also tagged under their business finance some people are doing that and they find it to be effective some people want it to be separate some people want to have a whatever system that they have in place that's what we do but it really depends on how you want it to do it as well as long as you find it effective and your business is surviving and you are surviving you are growing right then it's good okay so at least you know that's how we do it it may change maybe five years from now or two years from now we're gonna create a video same thing that this is going to be the context but it may be a different approach already because we are more matured we have learned from our experience but as of now that's what we do we do not think that the money of our business is our own personal finance that's not how we think it should be separate we just get a salary from this business to our personal finance so that we can also live comfortably in our own personal lives at the same time find a way to make the business grow okay if this video added value to you in any way don't forget to hit the like button so that it will help our channel out and the question of the day is this if you have a business right now or if you aspire to have a business what kind of financial setup are you gonna do is it going to be the same thing as ours or it maybe you have your own different way of doing it i'm really interested about how you are thinking as well let us know your thoughts in the comment section and see you on the next videos